Hello everyone and welcome to Storytime with Fade. And today we are reading Norman, One Amazing Goldfish. It's a sequel to Not Norman, A Goldfish Story. Written by Kelly Bennett and illustrated by Noah Z. Jones. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and let's jump right in. Norman is one amazing goldfish and I want everyone to know it. That's why I'm taking him to Pet-O-Rama. We have our routine all worked out. First, Norman does his tricks, circles, then bubbles, then flips. And for our finish, we learned a brand new tuba song. Hit it, Norman. I say and begin to play. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bee. Right on cue, Norman starts dancing and singing. Glug, 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 glug. Add a fish, Norman, I cheer. Just wait until everyone sees you. You'll be famous. On Petorama Day, I wake up extra early. I don't want to admit it, but I'm sort of nervous. Not Norman, he gobbles every bite of his breakfast. The Petorama line is super long. There are dogs, cats, birds, rabbits, snakes, and lots of other animals. Most of the kids are wearing costumes, so are their pets. I look at Norman, his orange scale glistens. You're so sparkly, you don't need a costume, do you, Norman? He shoots me a high fin. Once we're signed up, Norman and I go into the gym. Right away, we spot Ben and Dylan with their dog, Mustard. Hiya, Mustard does karate, Dylan says. What does your fish do? Lots of tricks, I say. Hey, fish, Ben calls. Show us a trick. Norman doesn't move. Not even a fin flutters. Dylan and Ben laugh. Petorama is for good pets, says Ben, not fish. Norman is amazing, I tell them. You'll see. One by one, the judge calls pets onto the stage. All the pets look good and many do tricks. But not any better than Norman's. Just wait until they see our act, I whisper. We'll show them, won't we? Norman spits a mouthful of gravel. When our number is called, I carry Norman onto the stage. The gym looks really big and crowded. That nervous feeling is back again, big time. I glance over at Norman. Under the stage lights, his scales and fins are as sparkly as any costume. Just looking at him makes me feel better. I take a deep breath. Introducing Norman, one amazing goldfish, I announce. First, our first trick, circles. Just as we practiced, I circle my finger in the wings, a poodle in a tutu twirls, not Norman. My mistake, I say, trying hard to keep my voice steady. Ready, set, bubbles. Bubbles, a parrot squawks. Not Norman. He doesn't blow even one teensy blip. Come on, Norman. This is an easy one. How about a flip? One, two, three. My hands are shaking so hard, I barely manage a snap. Up. Norman hides behind his plan. I can feel everyone watching, waiting. I give Norman a look. A hard look. His fins and flippers are quivering like crazy. That's when it hits me. Norman isn't being stubborn. He has stage fright too. Oh no, poor Norman. Don't be scared, I whispered. Ignore them and watch me. Let's do this together, Norman, just like at home, okay? I take out my tuba. Hit it, Norman, I call. Then I close my eyes and give it my best. Bom ba bom ba bom, bom bom ba bee. I'm starting it on the second section when Ben and Dylan shout, Hey, everybody, look. When I open my eyes, the first thing I see is Norman. He isn't lying on the bottom of his fishbowl. He isn't hiding behind his plant either. Norman is flip-flop wiggle-wag dancing like crazy and singing. Glug, 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 glug. 
Glug, 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 glug. Then Norman performs every trick perfectly, just as we practiced. Out of fish, Norman, I cheer. The Petorama judges give Norman a prize. It's like I always say, Norman is one amazing goldfish. I hope you enjoyed today's story. Until next time.